So here's one of the biggest rules with day trading, something that I think a lot of people have a hard time understanding at first. The, the number one rule, num I mean, literally the number one rule of day trading is do not marry your trades. And what does that mean? First off, it's going to mean selling, selling a loser. We're not, we're not holding, we're not hoping, we're not investing. We have no idea what the fundamentals are of these companies. A lot of these companies are on the brink of bankruptcy and you have to remember that. We're not investing. This is not an investment. We're not buying this ABC company and hoping that it's going to go up. We're buying it on momentum. We're buying it on volume. There's a reason that we're buying. We're either buying it because it's going up or we're shorting it because it's going down. We're not buying it to invest. This is not an investment. So forget that. Momentum day trading is nothing to do with investing. We are not here to buy a company. We are here to buy volume. We are looking for the quickest way in, the quickest way out of a stock. We're looking for opportunity. So we're looking at resistance, support, and volume. If obviously if a stock has support at a certain area, we're looking for that. Then we're looking at the next resistance area. And that's what we're looking. We're looking for that gap between the two of those. Is this stock gonna go from here to here by the end of day? We're not trying to hold this all week. We're not saying, oh, Here's this stock, it's 40 cents. I think it's gonna to go to 80 cents next week because that's not what it's about. I see a lot of people that write to me or they write me an email, they say, hey, what do you think about this stock? And if this, their stock that they bought, they bought it for five cents, they think, oh, you know, it used to be 10 cents. So if I buy it at five cents, it'll maybe go back to 10 cents, but no, it might go to zero. And that's what you have to remember is we are not investing. This is not an investment. If you are down on a trade big, there's a reason that you're down on a trade big, and that's because you didn't cut your loss when you should have. There's a stop loss for a reason. It's all about cutting your losses. I'm not gonna say that, A, you're gonna cut your loss, and I can't promise the stock won't go back up, but the thing is, is we're cutting our losses, and we're making sure that we're getting in and out and keeping that capital for the next trade. If I buy IDXG at $3, and all of a sudden it starts dropping, and it's dropping fast, and I know support is at 280, and it goes through 280. I mean, obviously, I'm probably going to be out before then because I got in at three hours. So I'm, but just for an idea, if it drops through that 280 support and I see that it's going, I'm cutting my loss. I'm not going to wait for the next support. I'm not going to wait to see what happens because that's not what we're doing. We're not buying these stocks to hold them. People ask me, why do I buy this stock? I have, I really have no clue what the fundamentals are of these companies. I'm not. Most of the time, I don't even know what they're selling, what they're buying. I'm literally in and out of these stocks so fast and I don't remember. I don't think about them in the future. I don't research them. It's literally buying momentum in and out. Obviously, sometimes I know about the, what news is on the stock. I know about what's going on with that stock. I've seen it in the past. I've traded before. So I know things about certain stocks. But when it comes down to it, if I see a stock that's going up 500% and I see an opportunity to get in and out really quickly, I'm buying and selling. I'm not just Oh, I'm going to buy this stock because it's going up 500%. I'm going to hold it because it might go to 1,000%. Because that's not what it's about. We are not investing. So you need to always remember that. Number one rule, do not marry your trade. It's simple. Do not marry a stock. If a stock starts to drop, and let's say you bought it earlier, it starts to go down. You think, oh, this is a good dip buy. No, 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 no. We don't, we're not dip buying. We're not buying a stock just because it was at ten dollars and now it's at eight dollars so it might be a good dip buy because that dip buy is only a dip buy until now it's seven dollars and you bought it at a high at eight dollars so stay away from dip buying obviously you're gonna there's dip buy opportunities where you see volume you see momentum you can get in and out quickly on a dip buy but if a stock goes to ten dollars and all of a sudden drops eight dollars that doesn't mean that it's a good opportunity to buy that means a it maybe it's crashing b Maybe there's some manipulation going on there, but we're not going to just buy because the stock's crashing and it's at a good price now. We're not investing. Like I said, do not mirror your trade. So if you win on a trade big, don't just sit there all day long and hope for it to go up or or look at it. So a lot of people I see a lot of times, they'll, they'll trade a stock once in the morning. It goes up big. It starts to come back down and they think, oh, well, you know, it might go up again. So I'm going to buy it here. No, no, no. D don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Just don't focus on one stock in general. If you see IDXG going up to the moon and you buy it and then you sell for a profit and you make big profit, walk away. If it you see another opportunity in IDXG, possibly. But if it's doing a million volume in the first couple hours and then all of a sudden it's going down on a steady decline the rest of the day and there's not much going on, don't think that's a good buy option. Don't catch falling knives. 
Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you'll get in and out of a stock that's falling. You'll get be able to buy those pops. But a lot of times what's going to happen is you're going to buy at the wrong time. So focus on momentum. Focus on volume. Stocks with no volume, we stay away from. We're not buying stocks that have no volume. Minimum of 500,000 shares traded before we even think about buying. So stay away from investing if you're going to try to be a momentum day trader. Focus on momentum. Look for volume. Look for plays in between, like I said, those support resistance areas. That's what we're looking for. Number one rule. I'm going to just number one. I'm calling it the number one rule. And that's do not marry your trades. Well, do not marry your stocks. Don't marry them. Through the rough, the, through the hard times and the good times. That No, we're only here for the good times. We're in and we're out. I don't want to say it because it's not politically correct, but it's a one night stand at best. Remember that guys, when you start day trading and capital is everything and you need that capital to make money, don't be don't be stubborn when a stock don't be stubborn when a stock starts to drop. If it's dropping, take a loss, move on to the next one, keep the emotions out of it, focus on the trades. It's not always about the P&L. If you're losing, sometimes you just need to walk away, you need to take a break from it. But overall, focus on the momentum plays. Focus on getting in and out. No rough times, good times. It's only the good times. I'm trying to create some videos for you guys. People have asked me questions about why we trade momentum stocks or how we find momentum stocks or, you know, in general, how does day trading work? And this is the number one rule that I need everybody and anybody to remember that there is no marrying of these stocks. These stocks today might be at $10, tomorrow they might be at $3. And that's how it works. They're very volatile, they're very dangerous. Do not marry these stocks. I'm gonna say it one more time before I finish this video. Number one rule of day trading is do not marry stocks.